Hello, my name is Iran and I'm a project manager at BizAid. In the next videos, I will show you how to build your own dynamic CRM solution. We will focusing on sales. So first, in this video, I will go through the basic sales process from lead to an order. When you sign into the system, the first thing you can see is the dashboard. It gives you a quick overview of business data by views or charts. If you are a seller representative, for example, you can see opportunities, leads, or activities. This dashboard is dynamic, so you can create one of your own by clicking New and choosing the right layout. So let's go through the navigation bar and open the sales section. We can see here important entities like activities, accounts, contacts, leads, opportunities, quotes, order, etc. Okay, now I'm going to show you a standard sale process. We are going to take a lead, convert it to an opportunity, add a quote, and convert it to an order. So let's go to one of the leads. In the left side of the page, you can see the contact details, you can see the name, the job title, the business phone, mobile phone, and the company details, the company name, website, address, etc. In the middle, you can see the activities, you can add a phone call, you can add a task, you can add stakeholders or competitors, and you can change the lead source and the rating. I think the most excited feature in the sell process is the business process flow. You can see it here. It guides the user in the sell process step by step. In the first step, we have to understand if the lead is suitable for us. If the answer is yes, we will qualify the lead and go to the develop state. So we will qualify the lead. After qualifying the lead, we can see a new opportunity, a new contact, and a new account. So in the develop stage, we can update the customer needs and the proposed solution. And we can go to the next stage. In the proposal stage, we can update the price list. We can add products existing ones or writing ones. And we can add a quote. We can update the shipping method, payment terms, etc. After completing the quote, we can activate it And we can, we can run a report. We can send this report to the customer or export it. After the customer has approved the quote, we can create an order. And we can close here the opportunity as one. And after we deliver the product to the customer, we can fulfill the order. And that's it. So this was the first part of our tutorials. In the next part, we will go through importing records from Excel. Okay, so see you. Bye-bye.